great, great moment because when you're here at Danish Days, when you're here in Solvang, everybody's a Dane. So uh, on by the power invested in me by my little finger, you guys are all Danes here for the entire weekend. Only for the weekend, and it stops at the city limits, okay? So don't go to another town and try and pull this. It's not going to work, okay? Only here in Solvang at Danish Days. Is that going to happen? So, uh, it is absolutely an honor and privilege to be back here. I'm here back in my very traditional uh, Danish attire. I went a little too, too traditional, but, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I can do what you want to do. Um, no, this is great. And we have so many wonderful Danish traditions. What do you guys think about that uh, candlelight parade? Is that not amazing? That's that is honestly one of my favorite things at, at Danish Days, is just to see that. There's, it, there, you don't see it anywhere else. And it's absolutely ma a magical moment. I love that. So, uh, another fun, special thing about what's going on here this year. You may have noticed a lot of Danish flags. That's called Danaborg. This is Danaborg's 800th birthday this year. The flag turns 800 years old. Can we give it up? Yeah. It's amazing. You just think about how old the uh, the American flag is, and it's <laughs> it's got some uh, ways to go on that one. All right. Speaking of our national flags, to get things started, we are going to do now the national anthem for the United States and for Denmark. And to do this, we are going to invite three individuals up on the stage. It is going to be Mr. Bent Olsen, Steen Skirum, and. That's okay, I couldn't announce their name, pronounce their names anyways. Uh, it's Svensard Nielsen, come on up. Just Danish, oh, I'm sorry. You can do it. Okay, we're gonna do that, that's fine. All right, go ahead. Are you ready? The Danish National Hymn. And now for the United States Anthem.
All right, that was wonderful. Uh, that was wonderful. Uh, now, I, before we get into it anymore, I also want to take this time to uh, thank the folks that are putting on Danish Days. Uh, this is an entire uh, board and committee that's put on uh, entirely by volunteers. Uh, they don't get paid to do this. They do this because they love solving. They love the Danish traditions. They love Danish Days. And they love you guys coming out here to put this on. So I want to have everybody here show them some love right now. Thank you, everybody, for putting this on. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you again. Some of them have been doing this for uh, 20 years plus. Yeah. So absolutely amazing. Um, we also want to take this time now to uh, recognize a couple of board members um, that are no longer with us. So we're going to take a moment of silence and um, really uh, just, just take this time to remember uh, two individuals that have recently passed. Um, that is Howard Peterson and uh, Hans Berkholm. Uh, very familiar names to locals here in the valley. Uh, we all know them and we know what uh, effect they had on uh, everybody here. So now we'll take a moment of silence and watch this little tribute. Thank you. Thank you, Howard and Hans. Uh, another one I want to point out is I want to thank the amazing sponsors of Danish Days. Uh, you'll see their, their names in the programs. If you haven't gotten a program yet, please pick one up. So special thanks to all the sponsors. But of course, we need to thank, of course, the city of Solvang. Uh, and at this time, I would love to introduce to you the mayor of Solvang, Mayor Ryan Toussaint. Come on up. On council member. Karen Lee. Hello, uh, Ryan Toussaint, Mayor Solving. I uh, just wanted to uh, thank everyone for being here tonight. Awesome event. Uh, love all the vendors showing up. Got a food truck here. Beautiful park. Um, Anyway, I'd like to just recognize we've got Karen Waite here, one of the council members, City of Solvang. I believe we also have Chris Dearness somewhere here. I think, so, there we go, Chris Dearness. Uh, I believe that's all the council members, but I'd like to recognize that because we, um, we do encourage as much uh, city representation at different events. Uh, and then we also notice that there's a decent amount of staff that's here as well, too, and that is very important. It enables the city to do everything we're doing today, uh, inclusive of Danish Days. Um, after that, uh, I believe Karen Wait, I'll give you a moment to, to speak. Yes, yes, I am very privileged to stand here before the entire city of Solvang and our wonderful tourists that come to visit this great Danish town. Um, I want to give a special thanks to our Danish Brotherhood and the crew that have 
put this on. Very, very, very important. Um, I am so glad. This has been one of the biggest turnouts for a Friday night for our Danish days that I have seen. So congratulations to everyone who has shown up. Thank you so much. I know that we're going to introduce uh, two individuals who are Grand Marshals coming up. Um, Ken and Allie Anderson that I've known for a number of years and I'm just so thrilled. Um, but I want to thank you all for showing up tonight and much appreciation, much appreciation for coming to our wonderful Danish town for this celebration. Thank you. All right, so with that, something a little different this year is uh, the city of Solvang for the past two years in a row has adopted a resolution in support of being a city of kindness. So with that, uh, we are dedicating our Solvang Park as a garden of peace. And I will be introducing Karen Palmer who will come up and speak to that. Thank you all for attending. Thank you all for attending. to share with you how solving is growing more kindness and unity in our community. Solving is dedicating this festival and the Solving Park to be a garden of peace. I'm Karen Palmer. I'm known as Mindful Media Mom and Miss Kindness on all social media. I'm the founder of Global Kindness Going Viral and the Puppy Love Revolution. We are coming together as part of the City of Solving. I am your ambassador of kindness and compassion. Solving is going to be the first compassionate and world kindness city. We are going to be a prototype of what's possible for our world. Everyone wants a more compassionate and kind world. I've been working diligently over 18 years in this community, and I was the person who started San Ynez Valley Earth Day, and now I'm working diligently with the Education Task Force at the San Ynez Valley Botanic Garden. Our beautiful mayor, Ryan Toussaint, has asked me to speak to dedicate our Danish days to growing more kindness and unity in our community. So as you go through this festival, I want to give you a couple of kindness tips. Give a person a thoughtful compliment. Sit with somebody who's sitting alone. Stand up for somebody who doesn't have a voice. Apologize to somebody that you hurt. Open the door for a stranger. Take the time to notice your neighbor. Take the time to leave a note on your neighbor's door and tell your neighbor how much you appreciate that person for being in your life. Your spouse, your children, your family. Be kind to everyone in your circle. This is something that we as Solvang can be a model for the world. As we step into the power of being the first international world kindness and compassionate city. How proud are you of that? Holy cow! You are going to be the first city that is going to be acknowledged as compassionate and kind. How many of you have grown up here and felt the kindness of this community? And how many of you want to ripple that out to the world? That is what I'm doing. So if you are interested in having your city, maybe Buellton, maybe Los Olivos, maybe San Ynez, becoming the next world kindness and compassionate city, come talk to me. And if you're visiting from out of town, if you're a tourist, and you'd like to have more kindness and unity in your community, please come talk to me. You'll see me. I'm Choose Kindness. I'm Miss Kindness, and I'm grateful to be here. 
I'm so honored to be a representative of City of Solving because solving is kindness and compassion in action. Be proud of yourself and know that you have made this little town something to be acknowledged internationally now. Globally, you will be known as the first world kindness and compassionate city. So, if you want to follow the lead of solving, come talk to me. You can visit me at globalkindnesstv.org. No, thank you. Beautifully said. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council Member. Um, yeah, and I think uh, the kindness really is also in this area. It's just about, you know, the Danes, who they are as people and their culture. I mean, it's all about Huga, right? Huga? Is that right? Huga? Huga. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I want to bring up now our, our next person that is another person who just is in the embodiment of kindness as well. Uh, this is someone, it's an individual that Danish, Day, Danish Days recognizes each year, and uh, it's going to be our Danish maid, uh, Gilly Nielsen. So, and to introduce her and come on up here, uh, Max and Brenda. Max and Brenda. Okay, okay. Right up here in the front? Right up here in the front. Front and center. Front and center. Big. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome to Solving. And we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. We have a lot in store for you. And tonight, Max and I, on behalf of our board, would like to introduce our 19, 2019 Danish maid, Ms. Jillian Nielsen. opportunity to thank you for all you've done this year and have yet to do uh, for representing Solvang and the Danish Days Board. So we have a little token of our appreciation and hope that you have a wonderful Danish Days. Hello and welcome all of you to the 2019 Danish Days Celebration. Looking out at all of your beautiful faces and I can't help but recognize how many beautiful people we have here who want to celebrate our heritage and our traditions here with us this weekend. It makes me profoundly happy that my traditions, my family's traditions, my community's traditions are being shared with everyone here today. My family and I have been a part of the community and the solving Dan Danish Days celebrations for as long as I can remember. My beautiful parents, Chris and Diane Nielsen, have... <laughs> They blessed me by giving me the chance to grow up in this beautiful town. It means so much to me to be a part of this Danish Day celebrations by representing everybody here and representing the town in the best way that I can possible. And I would like to thank everybody here that helped make this possible. Everyone who's helped set up, break down, volunteer food, the food trucks, the cooks, everybody here who helped make this dream a possibility. I would also like to thank all of you for coming out and celebrating our beautiful town with us. It's, it's so gratifying to see you all here and be happy with our beautiful little town. Really? <laughs> Celebrate everything with us. Eat, drink, have fun, throw axes, enjoy the Viking encampment. Really, all the arti artisanal handmade crafts, everything here can be celebrated and enjoyed by everyone in the family. And it's so great for everyone to really see and really participate in the Danish traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation. Again, thank you so much. Please have fun. Enjoy yourselves. The whole weekend, make a whole weekend out of it, please. Thank you very much. And uh, to go off of that, um, I want to give a special shout out to uh, uh, 
Nielsen's building materials, um, they were really behind uh, uh, the manpower and the contribution and the equipment to get everything put together here. So let's give them a big round of applause. Uh, could do it without them, that's, that's for sure. And now speaking of which, uh, we would like to introduce the Grand Marshals now at this time. So uh, Ken and Allie Anderson. Come on up. Let's give it up for the Grand Marshals. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for uh, selecting us as Grand Marshals. It's a, it's a great honor. Um, I, I hope everybody has a great time this weekend. Great time this weekend. It's 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 a uh, it's a great honor for us to be selected for something that we have so much fun doing, and I hope everybody has fun. Um, we go pray tomorrow is at two thirty. Um, we might be in it. There's a slight chance. So anyway, okay. thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about some of the activities that's going to be going on. So parade tomorrow, two thirty, and then there's a children's parade on Sunday as well. So definitely want to check that out to apply. Uh, anybody ever here have an able skewer before? Yeah. How many do you think you can eat in five minutes? We have a reigning champion. Uh, she was here last year. She you can't use your hands. That's the other thing. You have to eat these able skeevers uh, without using your hands. She ate 36 and a half, I think, in five minutes. Yeah, and she's going to be back. So she's going to try and beat her record tomorrow. That's at uh, 11.30. It's going to be right here. So come check that out. It's also going to be another one on Sunday as well. Uh, lots of other great activities going on. Concerts here in the park. Um, I I don't know if you guys have noticed the beer garden over there. There's a beer garden going on. Uh, I, I, we've got Figaro, uh, they've got the Danish Red, uh, Solving Brew Companies here as well. Uh, I love that Danish Red beer. Uh, I drank it a lot and uh, somehow my daughter came out with red hair. Go figure. Uh, so it's, it's a science experiment. Go try. Um, the other thing, of course, is the axe throwing. Uh, that's a first for this year, so if you guys want to go get in your inner Viking and go throw some axes, don't go to the beer garden first. Okay? That's a, that's a first. first. Well, or maybe it'll be better that way. I don't know. Uh, again, another science experiment. Let's try it. Um, so lots of really a lot of fun things. Of course, um, all the restaurants uh, here, come check them out. They've got specials going on. Um, just have a great weekend here, folks. Pick up a program. All the information you need to know is right there. Um, lots of things to help you out there. So, without any further ado, I think the music's going to start to play me off here, and we're going to start to have our folk dancers come up and enjoy the rest of the evening here, folks. Again, my name is Daniel. I just love being out here, guys. Uh, have a great weekend, and let's do some dancing up here now, okay? All right, have a great night.
Which is Tech? Should I give him a text or should I give him a call? Oh, right by the stage. No, no, I, I, no, I told him. I told him that. Right by the where? I told him there's a food truck right over here. But he went somewhere to look to see if he can get some to eat. You want to give him a jingle or? Subway right across the street. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, Dan and uh, okay. They were just wondering. Are they gonna be back in a little bit then? All right. Okay. Yeah. Just take your just uh, take your time there.